hello. I don't know what I've titled this. I don't know what the thumbnail is going to be, but I'm just going to click on links in the MMORPG subreddit. And then we're going to talk about them because I don't think any one of these is, is going to have like a full video's worth of content. Then again, I can just sit here and talk about nothing and fill a video with 10 minutes to get that ad revenue. It's eight now, by the way, but I like 10 just so you can fit that extra one ad in there. But I will try to give you actual content. So Fractured Online Publisher Notice. If you guys don't know, Fractured was a game that I actually was really looking forward to when I spoke to the developers and I promoted their alpha test repeatedly they gave me codes to give away on my twitch stream and my uh, and my discord and i gave away hundreds and hundreds of codes and people enjoyed the game in my discord and it was one that i'd been following for multiple years and was hoping would come out and do well because i like sandbox indie mmos i just do and this one being isometric and having some good ideas for solving some of the problems like uh having full loot pvp players and people who want to play safe in the same game, they had some cool ideas for making that not a, you know, wolf eats all the sheep and then there's nothing to eat and then they eat themselves and then the game dies. But then what happened was I was going through the Gamigo. Yes, we're talking about Gamigo in this video. Financial report that they post every quarter, or at least they used to. Now they do it as a whole um, media and invest group or whatever the fucking parent company is called. And in that, they were like, oh, we're going to be launching a new MMO and it's, you know, it's this big thing and it's going to be amazing and, and we're putting all our eggs in this basket, basically. We think it's going to be great. And this only goes out to investors. There's only fucking losers like me that isn't an investor that would be reading this. And then I got word from behind the scenes that it was fractured and I was like, I fucking hope it isn't. I really hope it isn't. But I didn't go and ask the devs or anything, at least not that I can remember. And then there was teasers posted by Gamigo and people figured it out. It definitely was fractured. Now, at the time that this partnership got announced, I obviously, being somebody who has a fractured relationship of my own with Gamigo, given that I promoted a game with them in a partnership of my own, and then they basically said that they only owed me like a, a couple hundred dollars for something that I knew wasn't true, and they actually owed me multiple thousands of dollars. And then when I brought it up with the person who was like my handler, basically, he was like, no, you don't know what you're talking about. You're a small YouTube channel and you don't understand. You're entitled to what this says and that's it. And I was like, no, I'm not going to accept that. I'm not a fucking moron and you're not going to treat me like a moron. So being the absolute fucking asshole that I am, I went to LinkedIn, found all the C-level executives and started DMing them saying, you owe me money and I'm not going to stop talking about this until you give it to me. Then I released a public video basically lighting their ass on fire. And that's when the C-level executives got in touch with me and were like, I wish you didn't do that. I don't want to be fucking dealing with this right now, which is a little bit unprofessional, but there we go. And then it was explained to me that, yes, they had in fact made a critical blunder. I don't know how many other creators had the same problem, but they repeatedly, like every week, kept sending me new links, new tracking links for, for packages and say, no, use this one now. And what they were doing was basically not tracking all the new links. So anyone who was buying things through my link was not contributing any money towards the affiliate deal that we had. Which, to be fair, at the time, everyone can remember, I was really excited for the idea of Arcade Unchained because, like many people who are watching this video probably, Arcade was always that MMO that really should have done way better and was a good game fundamentally. And they were making all the right promises, saying all the right things. And I was excited. And so were many other people because thousands of people bought the game through my affiliate link. So obviously this experience soured not only my excitement for the game, which I literally didn't end up playing, by the way. I was excited to play and then it came out. And the fact that this all happened and I was treated the way that I was made it so I had no interest in playing the game anymore. I just couldn't, in good faith, do it. And then, thankfully, it was a complete fucking mess of a launch. So, made a lot of videos talking about that. And they kept doing shit decisions. And then, of course, Kakao eventually bought XL Games, the creators of Arc Aging Korea, which made Gamigo surplus to requirements. And they pulled the publishing back from them and said, nope, see you later. And then Gamigo basically just has a roster of MMOs that nobody really cares about, so I don't really get to talk about them anymore. But then that brings us... I know I said this was not going to be a 10-minute video talking about one topic, but 
I, I guess we'll just do this one in this video. I, d I don't know. Maybe we'll do all the other MMO links in another video. But then, obviously, Dynamite Studios, who's making Fractured, they needed money, and Gamigo came a call in and they said, you know, we give you money, we're going to publish the game. I don't know what the splits were. I don't know if there was ownership involved. I don't know what the contract looked like. But they made a massive fucking blunder and nobody could look at the game in the state that it was in and say that this was a good idea but they still did it anyway i don't know if the fractured devs had any say in this but they launched the game in early access on steam and i'm just going to tell you this now guys the game was nowhere near being ready but of course that's what early access is for that being said though you get precisely one first impression with with early access in games like this, especially with MMOs. It just wasn't ever going to do well. And as we can see, the game that Gamigo were talking about, like, oh, you know, it's going to be our next big MMO, it did fucking nothing. It dropped off the face of a cliff from 1,500 players on launch to 229 14 days later. That's probably worse than Bless Online numbers in terms of the drastic drop off, which is fucking crazy. And Bless obviously had a much higher peak as well. So then I heard behind the scenes that Fractured and Gamigo were parting ways. But the problem was that Gamigo essentially had their hooks in Fractured. I don't know how true this is. I've not confirmed it with multiple sources. I'm talking pure speculation. Allegedly, uh, they were trying to part ways. And I do believe it was mutual, but there was issues because of how entangled they'd become in the Steam launch and stuff like that. So this is basically what's become of it. We wanted to share some news with you regarding Fractured Online and recent operational changes. As many of you know, the game entered closed development at the end of 2022 due to technical issues with a third-party back-end platform. In order for these issues to be addressed fully, Gamigo and Dynamite Studios have now resolved to part ways in 2023. This means Fractured Online will cease to be part of the Gamigo portfolio, good, and will be operated by Dynamite Studios. While we announced this news with a heavy heart, don't have a heavy heart, fuck Gamigo, we all believe it is the best path for both the game and its continued development moving forward. Yeah, but I'd say it's probably at this point too late because most people on social media who knew anything about Gamigo already wrote this game off. But of course, if it was good enough, they would probably uh, give it a try anyway. But the fact that you not only got in bed with Gamigo, but also allowed this dog shit launch decision to go ahead, that's just, I can't ever have good faith in this project ever again, or, or the, the decision making in the studio. And I'm sure I'm not going to be alone in that. Even though I'd love for it to succeed, because I do like indie MMO succeeding, that would be fantastic. I don't know. I'm split on this one. Uh, we hope these operational changes will allow for the game to continue to grow and expand independently from the original partnership and provide the best gaming experience for all the fans of Fractured Online. I wonder how Gamigo is going to spin this one in their investor report. I'd love to fucking read that. I'll take a look, see if I can find it. Maybe that'll be an interesting read. The game will remain in closed development while users are offered the uh, option to transfer their account data from Gamigo to Dynamite Studios. More information in this regard will be provided soon. Once this phase is completed, Dynamite Studios will bring the game back online for a time-limited test through FractionOnline.com, after which the game will be available again on Steam, with no more server wipes planned. We appreciate your interest and support of Fractured Online and its wonderful community. We look forward to seeing more updates on it in the near future. So what is the general MMO person on, on the subreddit opinion on this one? Next, somebody needs to buy a rift from Gamigo and nurse it back to life. I'd actually before that rift was an interesting game i do think that one got ruined a long long time ago add wild star to that list still waiting for any mmo like it i've given this opinion before and people always rag on me in the comments and say that i'm completely wrong and i accept that i probably am but i'm gonna say it anyway for the amount of people i see on social media that say wild star was such a good fucking game nobody played it man it wasn't popular when it released. So it just makes me wonder, because Wildstar is one of the few MMOs that released, especially of the big ones, that I just didn't play. I just had no interest in it. I can't remember what game I was playing at the time. I was probably heavily into WoW or something like that. And I just didn't bother with it. And by the time I probably could have gotten around to it, the game had closed down. But I see so many people on social media anytime this comes up being like, oh, Wildstar was so good. It was so amazing. And I just feel like if it really was that good and amazing... Surely it would have done much better and then wouldn't have shut down. And now when CSoft do close down games that are still, you know, doing okay, they've done it historically with other games like City of Heroes. But I don't think they would have shut it down if it was doing incredibly well, like it was this amazing game that everyone makes it out to be. 
but maybe I'm completely wrong. I would love to see them just boot it up. Like, I don't know how much money it would cost for them, but I assume with how horny people are for old school MMOs and classic experiences, that it could probably do well. I mean, every publisher at the moment, every developer is launching like, you know, classic versions of their games, old school servers, like it's really making a comeback. So I would love to see this. I don't think anyone's ever going to buy fucking Wildstar from NCSoft. And I don't even know if they could possibly do this. I don't know what they've kept around of the previous files or whatever. I'd hope it would be possible. And it would be interesting to see, especially because then I'd actually get to get my hands on it and see whether it was a good game or not. It could be one of those instances where it's aged really well and it was ahead of its time or whatever. That's entirely possible. And it could also be people having rose-tinted glasses for something that just isn't around to check anymore. But yeah, that would be really cool. Yeah, this is true. Why anyone would consider being published by Gamigo is beyond me. Uh, money, there aren't exactly many publishers willing to fund in the indie MMO. They'd been self-funding um, with grants and also crowdfunding for so long to get the game to this stage. If it was the case that they couldn't continue anymore and it was either gonna be, i think i said this at the time if it was a case of shut down and disappoint all the backers and waste all their money getting to this point or gamigo i would always choose gamigo as somebody who operates a business like that just it makes complete sense to me i don't hold that against them but at the same time i have such a personal issue it's the only company i have any personal bias against at all and i will be fully willing to admit that as soon as they got in bed with Gamigo, I could just never promote this game again. I wanted nothing to do with it. But I do understand why they as a business would do it. I just, again, have no interest in having anything to do with it beyond that point. Because usually, obviously, when I have like an interaction with the community, it's with like a random rep or a third party completely. And I understand business does business things. And it's all very impersonal. But this was personal for me because they made it personal when they were like, you don't know what you're talking about. It was basically my first, you know, big contract where I was like, this is amazing. They've offered me something that's cool and I like this game and, and maybe I'm going to be able to make some money. And at the time I was making no money from YouTube. I'd not really been going for very long. It was like the naive period of where I was like, surely nobody's going to fuck me over. And then they did. And then they tried to make out that because I was new to this, they knew more than me and I was fucking delusional, basically. I don't even know if those people work at that company anymore. But then obviously when I spoke to the the C-level executive, he made me feel bad for bringing it to him. Oh, I really don't want to be dealing with this. And it's like, motherfucker, do you think I want to be dealing with it? I'm the one that's been wronged here. But yeah, I think we've we've probably gone as far as we can go with this story. There are some interesting threads here that I wanted to talk about in terms of like uh, the New World forums being shut down, Throne and Liberty's tests been announced, and also why what's with the hatred of action MMORPGs here? You're on the MMO subreddit, mate. You've, you've fucking come to the wrong place to ask about why this hatred for anything MMO related. This subreddit almost exclusively exists to hate on MMOs. But yeah, uh, maybe a video tomorrow. Let me know if you want to see it. Uh, Us Mad World, Age of Darkness, there's a post about that and I do have opinions on that game. But yeah, thanks for watching and hopefully I'll see you on the next one. Peace out, fuck amigo.